the honorable prime minister my colleagues uh, the ministers of state distinguished officials dignitaries officers of the state governments ladies and gentlemen we are passing through a very important transitional phase in the life of this country led by the honorable prime minister's uh, guidance and vision every officer present here today be it of the central government or the state government has become in tax administration a very important agent of this change sir if we look at uh, the extent of transition which is taking place from the day you assumed office as the prime minister and the direction into which we are moving there is a sea change which has taken place in the field of taxation if we look at the situation prior to that date when you assumed office what were the signs of the status quo that existed if one wanted to buy real estate in india small or big you had to pay money in multiple colors if you wanted to transact businesses the accepted norm had been to maintain two sets of accounts electioneering political funding essentially new only one color and it was as uh, many global thinkers uh, have used the phrase the curse of cash which has struck india because it carries with it all its attendant prop challenges and problems it leads to huge tax evasion it leads to disempowerment of the states and the central governments to achieve various programs it becomes an important source uh, of evasion and avoidance it becomes an instrument of corruption it aids crime it enables terrorism the reactions had started for 3 years prior to your becoming the prime minister the supreme court was for good reason suggesting to the government to please constitute the special investigation team which could at least suggest measures which could lay down a road map on which we must try and bring the change but i don't think uh, anybody in the system really thought that in a brief period a course correction in india could so rapidly take place both in the field of direct and indirect taxes these have been transitional times not merely aspiring to become one of the fast growing economies or evolve ourselves from a developing into a developed economy we are tune changing uh, our tactics also and i think uh, today's conference which will go on for the a whole day and thereafter really would result in uh, a fresh set of thinking as to how we adjust ourselves to this change which is taking place the first challenge of course is that india becomes from a tax non compliant nation towards being a more compliant nation for which it is necessary that uh, our procedures are simple 
our rates are reasonable, our environment of self-compliance is there, and then we use technology in order to minimize the connect and the contact between the assessing authority and the assessee itself. We need to improve upon our own standards of credibility by, in, by enabling a system which, is, uh, which has a greater quotient of integrity in it. And our structures are so designed where evasion and avoidance becomes extremely difficult. The transitions which have taken place and if from the very, your first decision to appoint the SIT itself and thereafter a series of decisions had started. The first major decision was the under the policy of which later became the black money law that people with assets outside the country which are not declared must declare them, bring them back within a defined period, pay penal taxation, or alternatively, if they fail to do that, suffer a very serious consequence. Subsequent to that, on your initiative, the G20 took uh, an important decision for mutual assistance, and now even the globally non-compliant states are coming around and assisting each other in providing real-time information about uh, assets held by citizens of one country outside its own jurisdiction. Since 1996, we were struggling to amend our double taxation treaties, which had enabled round-tripping of money. In the year 2016, we were able to rewrite all the three treaties with Mauritius, Cyprus, and Singapore. We had a very successful IDS scheme in direct taxation. We had uh, several important changes in direct taxation which discouraged the use of cash itself. And we found India and Indians becoming more and more ready to accept these changes itself. And then came your monumental decision on the 8th of November to convert India into a less cash society itself. And the consequence of that decision was that India's tax base started expanding, a movement towards digitization has started, and therefore compliances in India which were relatively at low level, have significantly started improving thereafter. Nobody really thought that the GST rollout itself would be so smooth. We were being cautioned uh, about the various glitches which would take place either in the states or the center. But we are glad today that as we stand here a few weeks after the launch, it's been uh, an extremely smooth launch and the officers of the central and the state governments dealing with this particular area deserve to be very highly complimented for this achievement itself. <laughs> Nobody really thought that in the first month itself, the red lines would be crossed and the targets would be more than achieved itself. And that has started happening. I do believe, sir, that the combined effect of two monumental decisions that you spearheaded between demonetization and the GST, in the long run, will not only change the way India and Indians spend and the way we live, it will also give, in the medium and the long term, a great boost as far as Indian economy is concerned. How do we move from here? How do we further simplify our procedures? How do we reduce the compliance burdens itself? I think, uh, this is the future roadmap that we had ahead of us while these changes are being brought out. And I'm sure in the course of this uh, conference, 
where officers of uh, the, all the departments dealing with revenue of the central government and some of the state governments are all here, we would be able to make uh, major advances. I once again, sir, thank you very much for being here to guide all our officials. And more thanks to you for having uh, encouraged us and enabled all the persons present, officials present here to have given them a direction as to in which way India and Indians need to move now. Thank you.